Hey yo, what's good everybody? It's your boy Matthew Mailey for MatthewMailey.com. Well, I've got the jersey on again, but it is simply to tell you that next week I'm going back to Fitzy. <sighs> That's all I gotta say. Um, one thing, the Ravens run by, so stupid that I even wore this jersey anyway. I should have been wearing my Fitzy jersey, especially since the Monday night game just ended and the Cardinals needed all the help they could have gotten. So. Maybe my Fitzy Jer jersey would have gotten more than a field goal. Probably not, but maybe. So that was stupid on my part anyway, but I'm superstitious, and I said I was going to give this jersey one more week, so I did, and it got me a one and two week. Yeah. So let's go through the rundown. First off, as I just mentioned, horrible week from the Cardinals. Ended up only getting three points. Um... We all know that we don't have a great running game. We've never had a great running game. Even when we had Emmett Smith, we didn't have a great running game. I will always blame it on a crappy offensive line, period. But we got seven yards. Let that sink in. Seven yards. Not seven yards on one carry. Not seven yards in a quarter. Not seven yards from our third string running back or our you know second string receiver not Andre Roberts with seven yards seven yards total like come on it was the absolute worst for our team in over 50 years but mind you shows how bad the Cardinals in history have been as a running team it was not the worst for the Cardinals franchise that's just sad. In more exciting news for the sake of the NFL, Alex Smith had his best game as a pro going 18 of 19 um, for three touchdowns and like 200 something yards for officially a 94 point something or other completion rating, which is the best ever for a minimum of 15 completions. Problem is that he didn't get 20, which is the actual minimum that they pretty much grade all the NFL records on. So, sadly, he was one short of it. Um, but regardless, a very impressive game manager type of game. Granted, most of the passes were like five yards, but whatever. Still is impressive. I mean, you go 18 for 19, that's impressive, honestly. That's really impressive. So, um, after that atrocious start to the week, um, let's go through some of the other good games that happened. Um, Bears versus Panthers was a pretty good game with the Bears coming out on top. The Browns held the dismal Chargers to two field goals, winning 7-6. to six. More on that game later. That's just pathetic. Everybody actually on Twitter was starting a chant uh, or a hashtag of Fire Norv Turner. Um, Colts had a great comeback win against the Titans with their rookie running back doing this crazy spinning barrel roll corkscrew move as he got tackled in overtime to score the touchdown. Pretty impressive. Um, and they're surprisingly 4-2. and two. Yeah, 5-2. and two. No, 4-3. Four 4-3, and, three. Four and three, I think. So, pretty impressive for that team. Um, Pats absolutely annihilated the Rams. We'll get into that a little bit more as well, but everybody said that the Rams um, would, be, would be able to score some points. Maybe not beat the, the Patriots, but would be able to put up some points just based on how bad the defense for the Patriots had been. They were wrong. Um, another crazy game was the Giants versus the Cowboys. Giants opened up and scored 23 straight points unanswered, only to let Dallas turn around and score 24 points unanswered until the fourth quarter when, finally, Giants came back, scored six points, and got the win. Thank God. Um, and then... The other big game um, that was a really solid game was Sunday night with, um, I'm sorry, no, it wasn't Sunday night. The Sunday night game was the giants Dallas game, I think. And I didn't watch either one, but I think so. Um, but that was the Broncos versus the Saints, and everybody thought it was going to be a shootout, myself included. Um, it was a seven-point line um, with the Broncos being the, the favorite, so I actually took the Saints with the points, and uh, yeah, I was wrong. Um, ended up being a 34 to 14 game, and from what I heard, Peyton was looking pretty solid, and Broncos looked pretty solid. So I was surprised about that. I thought it was going to be a little bit closer. 
So now let's go to my individual leagues. And since we already had bad luck in that first part with the loss, let's continue the loss. We'll save the win for the end. Make myself feel a little bit better. So this will be for the BFFL League, the Borrows or Best Friends Forever League, which is so corny. Um, I had an absolute dismal performance um, when I read you some of these individual point totals. We'll see what I mean. Um, well, before we give a total, let me just say that my high score um, was actually Mike Vick, but he got me like 16, 17 points. That's not the point. My other high score was Matt Forte, who got me 15.4 points. Okay, not bad. I had um, Josh Freeman on my bench, who ended up going for like 26 or something. So it would have scored me like 5 or 6 more than, or maybe 7 more than Vic, but eh. But then we get to the real fun part. Had Crabtree on the bench. He went off for like 25. And... Uh, Let's run down four of my big point stars. Jamal Charles, starting running back, one point. Larry Fitzgerald, starting receiver, 5.2 points. Vincent Jackson, starting receiver, last week had like a 38-point game, 4.0 points. And finally, the arguably top three best, or one of the top three best tight ends in the game, Antonio Gates, 1.4 points, all totaling to an absolutely atrocious score of 59.8. And I lost 87.8 to 59.8, which really wasn't even that great of a score from the other guy, and it's a very beatable score. So that way I didn't. So that brings us to our moment of happiness, our one win, the one next to the dash two and that is in the any given sunday league where i had a, an all right week even though i made a couple bad decisions but um ended up scoring 105.58 points winning uh, against somebody who scored 85.64 points um amazingly had another decent week from uh chris johnson ended up giving me 12.7 points santana moss um got 10.10, .10, though we had like four drops. Um, Dustin Keller got 10.20, which is pretty decent. And my aforementioned Browns, I actually picked their defense up, um, and they scored me 13 points, which is pretty awesome, um, considering that both my defenses were on pies. So, but the bonehead play I made, though thankfully didn't come back to bite me in the ass, and it's been the thing that I've been running into all year long, is Roethlisberger or Brady. I, in my mind, am thinking, okay, it's going to be a big shootout between Roethlisberger because, you know, he's got a cannon and Robert Griffin III because, well, he's got a cannon and it wasn't. He still had a good, decent 26 point, 28 point day, but Mr. Brady went off for 36.46 points on my bench. A little disappointed with that. So, at the end of the day, I still ended up going one and two, which isn't horrible, but I'm going to go back to the Fitzy jersey this next week, see if that changes up the luck at all. I also have another Ravens jersey coming, a purple one. A little excited about it as well. So, maybe that'll change up the luck some. I don't know. But there you have it, the 2012 NFL and Fantasy Football recap for week eight and uh well let me know what you guys think of the action i guess you could say let me know how your guys teams did hopefully better than mine let me know how your guys real teams did hopefully better than my one other ones on by and once again let me know what you guys think of the video thank you all as always for checking out my videos i am matthew maley this is matthewmaley.com and until the next video i'm officially signing off hope everybody had a great weekend Everybody was safe out there. If you had any Halloween parties, because I know most people were partying um, on Friday or Saturday since Halloween's on a Wednesday, which is corny. Um, but as always, I hope everybody had a great weekend. And of course, thank you guys for checking out my videos. Until the next video, you can always go and check out the rest of mine on MatthewMailey.com. You can also check me out directly up on YouTube. Just search for Matthew Mailey Poker. 
Or you can check me out on Facebook. Again, search for Matthew Maley Poker. You can also follow your boy on Twitter. I am at Matthew Maley. I recommend checking me out on there because I'm going to be down at the main event tomorrow. I'm going to be doing some live tweeting, so check me out there. Um, and then finally, you can check me out on Instagram as well. Again, at Matthew Maley Poker. So check out all my pictures. So with that, I am signing off. Peace out, y'all.